Hello everyone, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this video, I'll show you how to create a block with multiple insertion points. Suppose this is an office room and I've created an office table and a chair. Now I'm going to block these objects. So I'll click on insert tab, create block. Then I'll give a block name, office table. And I'll choose uh, this particular endpoint as the insertion point. And I'll select all these objects and I'll click on delete option and I'll give OK. Now you can see that a block definition is created. Now I'm going to insert this block of table and chair onto this corner. I'll click on insert and I'll click on the office table block. Now I'm going to insert it over here. Now I'll right click and repeat insert and I'll give enter to choose the same office table. This time I would like to insert it over here. But if you insert it over here, you have to give another move command to position it to the right location. But if you have multiple insertion point on this block, it will be easy for you to insert it precisely onto this location. So let's see the procedure to do that. I'll erase this block. Now I'll double click on this block reference and I've got the edit block definition dialog box. Here I have chosen the office table and I'll give OK. Now you can see a block authoring palette on the left side. Here you can see parameters tab and other tabs. Each of these options in the parameters tab will let you assign a parameter. So I'll click on the point parameter and this parameter will let you create an insertion point on a block. Now I'm asked to specify the label location. I'll just click over here to specify the label location. Now you can see an exclamation mark here this mark normally appears whenever you define a parameter and this exclamation mark will disappear when you define an action associated with a parameter. But for this point parameter, there's no need to define any action. Now I'll click on point parameter again and one more point I'll define and I'll position the label over here. One more point over here and I'll position the label here. I'll define one more parameter that is a flip parameter. It will ask you to specify a base point of reflection. I'll pick this midpoint as the first point on the reflection line and one more point I'll pick here to define the next point on the reflection line. I'll place the label of the flip parameter over here. And the flip parameter will let you flip or mirror this particular block about the reflection line you define. Now here the horizontal axis is the reflection line. For the flip parameter, a flip action is to be defined. So I'll click on Actions tab and I'll click on Flip Action. Now I'm asked to select the parameter. I'll click on the Flip State label. Now I'm asked to select the object. I'll select the entire objects using a standard window. Then I'll give an Enter. Now I'll close the block editor and I'll save the changes to the Office Table block. Now I'll insert the Office Table block by clicking on the Insert button. Then I can click on the Office Table block. Alternatively, I can also give insert command. I'll type I, give enter. Now we have got the blocks palette. Here in the current drawings tab, you can see the office table block, but you can see a lightning symbol along with it, which means that it is a dynamic block. Because once you define parameters and actions onto a block, it becomes a dynamic block. Now I'll click on this block. Now when you move the mouse, you can see the insertion point. But in this block, I have defined multiple insertion point using the point parameter. You can hold on the control key to access the first insertion point we have defined. Now press control key once more to access the next one. Now control once more to access the next insertion point. Now I'll press control key till I get this insertion point and I can insert it over here. Now I'll drag up this block from the block palette once again and I'll press the control key till I get this particular insertion point and I'll insert it over here. Once again, I'll drag drop this block, then I'll hold on the control key till I get this particular insertion point and I'll insert it over here. Click on this block. Now you have got this particular grip. I'll click on this flip grip to flip this. So this is the action of the flip grip. Your block will get mirrored about the horizontal flip axis which you have defined. Now I'll repeat the same thing here. Just click on the flip grip. It got flipped. 
So this is how you define multiple insertion points on a block. Hope this tutorial was interesting. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it. Until I catch you with another informative video on CAD. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.